decrease your knee motion and the control that we have as it goes into a full flexion position, an exercise that we can work on is called the tall kneel fallback. Um, now you can be on a pad with your knees if you need to, uh, or rolled up towel or yoga mat, whatever you have. Um, we do want our feet tucked up underneath us. We don't want our toes pointing away. We want our feet tucked up underneath us. And from this position, we're going to engage our butt muscles. So I'm actively squeezing my butt to keep my trunk nice and straight. I'm going to just cross my arms across my chest for consistency. And then I'm just going to slowly lower back under control. Now when I get all the way down there or I get to my end, I can now hinge at my hips to release that tension. And I'm just going to kind of shift myself back into this upright position. So I'm only working on the control on the way down for starters, right? I'm across my chest, leaning back, and then I can relax at my hips and hinge and come on out of that. Now, if that range of motion is too much for you, you can have a, a rolled up towel or a foam roller or something underneath there so you're not going quite so far. And then eventually you want to be able to get to the point that you can control it in both directions. So nice and tall, butt squeeze, right? I want these hips to stay straight the whole time. I want the motion to come out of my knees and I can go all the way back and step back and I can bring myself back to upright. And again, I can just do this fall back and then bring myself back to upright. And when you're doing this, you're really gonna see your quads turning on. Great for your knee health, as long as you can tolerate kneeling and you do it within a pain-free range of motion for yourself.